Hey everyone, AC Fire here, and um, I know that it's been a while since I made a video, and also, I think that's it, and as you can tell by, wait, what am I looking at? okay, whatever, and as you can tell by the title of the video, hopefully, maybe, this is a rant towards some people. And you're going to be confused right now because these are rants towards those people. And I know that there's a lot more who aren't YouTubers, right? Who, who thought this as well. But this is a rant to the people who are saying that they were wrong about the Switch being a flop or a failure. That they were, like, this is a rant to those who, who at first were like, saying that the Switch was not going to be a success and that it, even though in the reality it really did become a success and you could say oh, it could still like like fail later on but based on the momentum based on the games coming out and based on whatever else Nintendo has planned for the future I feel like that's not very likely if it is then well I guess then I'm going to have to make a video of me being wrong right uh, even if I'm wrong, I'm still going to enjoy the Nintendo Switch because it's a good console with good games. But you're asking yourself, why are you making a rant video uh, about those who said that they were wrong and that this, that, and they're saying that, you know, that they were wrong and that they were dumb for thinking that the Nintendo Switch would fail. I'm making a rant video because it's... I'm not trying to say it was obvious the Nintendo Switch was not going to fail, but there were clues about it not failing. That for one, the marketing improved significantly even before the Switch came out. That was number one. The Wii U had marketing that was more kid-oriented, while the Switch ended up with marketing that is adult-oriented in a sense, even though the games a lot of the game marketed were Nintendo games, meaning that they were obviously not adult games, even though adults could enjoy them just as much as kids. And, but we saw that more adults were shown playing the Switch rather than children, which is fine because, let's be honest, for example, Call of Duty, even if Call of Duty is rated M for mature and has all this blood and gore, People, kids are still going to play it, let's be honest here, and and it's, they don't market Call of Duty for kids because they can't, because it's a M-rated game, yet kids still buy it. It's the same thing with the Switch, even if there's not as much kids being shown off in the commercials, in the marketing, people, kids are still going to play it because the games Nintendo has, kids will enjoy, and adults will enjoy just as much. And... Okay, that's first thing. The Wii U had just kid-oriented commercials, some were even a little cringy, cringeworthy at times, and a little not very well made. And that's one reason, besides the naming, you know, at least Switch, people are like, hey, that sounds like a strange name, kind of, but at least it's not a Wii something, you know, so people aren't confused that, oh, it's another thing for the Wii. No, it's a completely different console. Second of all, you know how long people have been wanting a hybrid Nintendo console? How long there have been rumors of a Nintendo Fusion console? I don't know. I think ever since the Wii, even though when the Wii came out, even before the Wii U, I think there were already rumors of this Nintendo Fusion between handheld and console. And people were obviously interested in this. And seeing as how Nintendo is has always sold the most compared to their competitors every single time with their handhelds and how the handhelds have sold amazingly the DS being the second highest selling console video game console of all time we see that Nintendo has a stronghold in the handheld market even the 3DS even with smartphones is doing pretty well at like 64 or 5 million I think and people really we're anticipating a hybrid console for this switch or for the for as the next Nintendo console. And 
The Switch is a hybrid console, so a lot of people are looking forward to it. And when it makes sense, a lot of people would buy it if there are a lot of people wanting a hybrid Nintendo console where all their games are available and where you could play on the go and the TV. I mean, it's it's a convenient console. What else? Um, let me see. Oh, yeah. So people are... People are saying, oh, th there's the, the launch lineup for the Switch isn't that good. And while I wouldn't say, okay, that's, okay. It, it was good. The launch lineup was good in terms of the games, in terms of the quality of games. The quality of the games, you cannot say that was not good quality. You could say there was not that many games that came out, but the quality, especially Breath of the Wild, that one game alone, which I think has sold the most, almost everybody who has, which has a Breath of the Wild at this point, and you could say that only having that as being the big AAA game and not really having any AAA third party games and having just some indie games, you could say that could have been a reason why the Switch would have flopped or would have failed. Um, yeah, at least at launch. But the thing is that Breath of the Wild, we already knew it was going to be a good game. People were kept saying it was going to be a, a good game based on E3, based on everything we've seen. And look at how it's done in reviews and in sales. And people have been have played this game for hundreds of hours a lot of the time. So a lot of people enjoyed this game and while you could say it was one big game, you know, there were other big games, like, yeah, like the Switch could have failed because there was only that game, but that game, plus all the other games that came out at launch, which were, had, were, like, good quality games came out, and we already knew about other games people were hyped for, and that's another reason why I think the Switch logically didn't fail, like, I don't, and okay, I'm gonna put this out there. If you, if you, if you say I'm wrong, if you, if you say I'm a Nintendo fanboy, or, uh, I mean, I'm not a Nintendo fanboy, I think they, the online still has their problems, virtual console still needs to come, uh, what else? Like, the voice chat, obviously, they should put it in the system, you know, all the complaints people keep saying back and forth. And I know they're for good reason, obviously, but let's let's just say this. Those people who said the Switch was going to fail, I don't know if all of you, but I know some of you at least, I know you wanted the Switch to fail. I'm going to say this. You wanted the Switch to fail. That's a bold statement right there, right? Because a lot of you are right now saying, oh, that they're wrong and you're loving the Switch. Well... What if I were to say that the Switch did fail? And what if I said they pulled a Sega, that Nintendo pulled a Sega, where instead they put all their games on another console so that they wouldn't have to spend as much money and so that they didn't lose that much money and so they could, you know, because at that point they would like lose a ton of money if the Switch failed, right? If they had done that, it would have been convenient for everybody because I mean not well sign kind of I'll say kind of right in a second but you wanted the switch to fail because you would have just say if they put the games on the PS4 or the Xbox one or the PC or all three or two or you know the point is if they put it on those consoles on the PC or whatever it would have been more convenient for you because you would you would just have to buy that console, consoles, whatever, and you also get Nintendo games. Meaning you don't have to buy another console to play Nintendo games. And that's why I'm saying that you didn't want you you didn't want the Switch to fail because you're a Nintendo hater. Even though there are some that are haters, like I don't I don't hate the other consoles. It's just that I'm not. I just don't have enough money to buy the other consoles. Which, uh, I'll talk, nah, whatever. 
Maybe I'll eventually buy the other consoles, but for now I only have a Switch. But the point is that you're not Nintendo haters. You just hate the fact that you have to buy another console to get Nintendo games. And I can understand that people are low on, limited on money. Some obviously aren't. Some have a lot more money. Some have less money. Some just want to, for example, PS4 selling 60 something million units. Wouldn't it be cool if Nintendo games got in there so you don't have to buy a Nintendo Switch? I mean, and you would have the PS4 exclusives, the Nintendo, Nintendo games, and the third party support, right? You would have everything, or at least mostly everything, and you would be happy, right? Spend less money, buy more games, you know, get more quality games on one platform. But it didn't turn out that way, it seems, because Nintendo Switch is obviously doing well right now. And I can understand your point of view, but at the same time, I can't really... I don't like your point of view that much. Because that point of view is kind of... I don't know. Kind of uninspired. What's the word? Unimaginative. It's like... Let's be honest... Um, well, I keep saying, let's be honest, the point is, I keep saying that too, Nintendo, if it weren't for Nintendo, will you, this, these generations would be boring. And everybody, a lot of people say that, that without Nintendo, we wouldn't have innovation. You could say Nintendo used to make, like, powerful consoles, and it's like, yeah, but they kept deteriorating in sales, and you could say, Okay, then tell me why the SNES did worse than the NES then. I mean, it was supposed to be, it's such a revered console yet for some reason. You could say, well, it's because of Sega Genesis, but still. Nintendo right now and for a while has been known for innovation. Without Nintendo, this kind of, all of the consoles would just be the same. The PS4, Xbox One are just the same thing. The Xbox One X, the PS4 Pro, they're just PCs. That are a little bit more powerful, or I wouldn't say a little bit, but they're more powerful than the PS4, Xbox One. They're all just PCs, except the difference. They're not even like, there's no proprietary thing to it. There's nothing. It's not like only certain games, well, well, like only certain very specific games. No, it's they're all the same. Too, and they always they do have their differences, but really, you could just make a PC, and Basically, it's kind of the same thing. Nintendo was the only one who was like, huh, let's do something different. And you could say, if they made it more powerful, they would have succeeded. Who knows if they would have succeeded? Who knows if they did something different, if they would have succeeded or not? But right now, the Switch is an innov innovative console. Some, especially now in technology. Nowadays, there's not really that much different anymore. There used to be a time where all these different things, or these creative ideas that may or may not work, came or like done, or or were made and sold. While some just straight up flopped, failed, they were still creative things, and there were some successes, obviously, but like the Wii. Or, I don't know what else, but that's an example. And really, when you think about it, we need creativity because if we just do everything the same, what does it matter anymore? What does, what's the point of technology just increasing? You would say, well, it gets better and better and better. And I don't know. It just feels like everything's becoming more the same, which is, is fine if you don't really like change, but. There's some people who, I don't know why I'm saying this stuff, but I feel like the Switch really did to something different. While you would say not all third party games might come to it, at least this time it's not like the Wii. It's an innovative console, but that at least this time people who actually are people who play video games, not just smartphone games are going to get this and those who do play smartphone games might get this as well but at least this time nintendo's focusing more on making the games 
good quality and they're games that everybody can go and play not just games that might just appeal to those who don't necessarily like games now this time we're getting a console with games like breath of the wild like mario odyssey like splatoon 2 like arms like kirby like yoshi like pokemon like xenoblade like metroid we're getting all these games right that while the Wii, for example, did have these games, they also had a lot of games that were kind of like, for example, Wii Sports. We're not, we don't have a Wii Sports anymore for the Switch. We don't, want to Switch would could be considered that Wii Sports game, but it didn't do that well. The Switch, something different, and honestly, I don't know. I don't know if it would have been a good thing if it flopped. I don't think it would have been a good thing. And some of you are saying maybe it would have been a good thing, but to me it wouldn't have been because while it would have been more convenient to get a PS4 with Nintendo games or an Xbox One or a PC with Nintendo games, it makes it less interesting in the end. And I just feel like in the in I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just want Nintendo to succeed that badly, or maybe I just realized that a lot of you are 